Hi everyone, uh, we're here at the Worley Wine Shop, I'm the Worley Wine Bar, to have a chat with Tom, uh, the owner, on the fifth stop of Behind the Scenes at Christmas. We're going to get some tips on uh, match wines for some fizz, some red, uh, and some after dinner drinks. Have a little bit of the chat about the support that Tom can offer to trade, to hotels and restaurants. Really looking forward to seeing what they have their preparations are going for Christmas. So let's go and have a chat. Good afternoon everybody, we've popped inside uh, the Wall of Wine Bar. Uh, we're now sat with uh, Tom, who's the owner of the shop and the bar, uh, who's going to tell us a little bit about how the shop and uh, prepares ahead of Christmas, ahead of a busy season. Um, if you want to tell us a little bit about what you've yeah, uh, created, you've always helped. Thank you. Um, so, welcome to the Ginger Tea. Thanks for coming along and having some right. um, So, my name's Tom Jones, uh, makes it easy to remember, and I set the Wall of Wine Shop up in 2010. Um, and now me and my wife Jen uh, run the wine shop and our new uh, two and a half years old wine bar. So we've been going at the shop since 2010 as an ind fully independent family owned wine specialist merchant. But we sell beers, we sell spirits. If it's got we alcohol own gin, we do our own gin. Yeah. We've just released our fifth edition of the King Street Gin, which is our own, very nice. Uh, yeah, our own project that we do with another local supplier, so Cuckoo Gins over yeah. at Brindle Distillery. Uh, Mark and his team there are brilliant, um, and they've helped us create a unique recipe um, using ingredients foraged in war. Yeah. So ahead of Christmas, what sort of things do you kind of head towards in your preparation for the shop and the bar? So <laughs> Christmas is our main season. It's sort of what we put all the work in for throughout the rest of the year. Yeah. We work from January onwards trying to build up relationships, keep our customers happy, find great products. But really, whether we have a good year or not, is pretty much determined right. by yeah. December. Yeah. Um, it's so important to us. So preparation throughout the year is, is, is buying, making yeah. sure we're finding great wines. And then come Christmas time, um, what we're trying to do is find the best products that we've been tasting that year. So for each category, of product we sell. Yeah. We want to go through what we hold and go, right, let's find our favorite one. What's really impressed us? What's really showing good quality this year? We then put all those offers together in our Christmas brochure, and that becomes the core of what we offer. Yeah. So it starts with champagne and fizz, all through English fizz, proseccos, into our roses, whites, reds, and then all the way through ports, whiskies, each category where we can try and offer you something. So in terms of suppliers, Tom, who do you head towards for champagne and English sparklings? So we have a whole range of different suppliers. We yeah. probably work with nearly 50 wow. different UK distributors and suppliers. Uh, and the whole uh, idea behind Christmas is to A, find wines that we're really passionate about, but B, also work with those people who've been willing to support us. Yeah. Um, I think hospitality in general, uh, retail in general, we have to start working with the people who are willing to invest in your business. Yeah. If they're willing to show you support for 11 months, now's the time for us to, to return that support. Yeah. So uh, our champagne houses of the year, uh, we're working with uh, Billy Carl Salmon, nice. um, who have done very, very well for us in the bar. So the Rosé is one of our preferred champagnes in the wine bar. Uh, and Bollinger. Okay. Um, we have a long-standing relationship with Bollinger. Uh, we've bought all their uh, previous limited edition wines. Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of their um, RD range and the new PN range. So um, yeah, we're, we're big fans of those. English Sparkling, um, we are working with a lovely house called Hattingley, okay. uh, Hattingley Valley, who are making great quality English Sparkling wine. Uh, and then we have our party fizz as well, when you just need some good quality. Yeah, bottles of Prosecco, nice. yeah, you're hosting the whole family, yeah. everybody's coming around, you don't want to be pouring them Bollinger or that. No. Thing, unless you're on some serious money. So yeah. we, we've got some lovely party fizz as well. So in terms of the shop, what can people expect to kind of get in the shop for Christmas if they're popping in for a quick gift for uncle or auntie, what, mm -hmm. what can they? So most of what we sell, we're known for selling a little bit of everything, yeah. but um, at this time of year, it's a good bottle of wine for somebody as a gift. Yeah. So one of the ways we try and get to our preferred products is I go around my team in the shop and I give them an imaginary 10 pound note, imaginary 15 pounds and imaginary 20 pounds. And I say, go and find the best rosé, best white and the best red at those three price points. And once everybody's put their suggestions in, we get them all together, we have a little look over them, taste a few of the wines, and we decide, you know what, if somebody comes in after a 10 pound bottle of red wine, yeah. that is the best one we can give them. And where we can, we'll tailor it to perhaps work for the time of year. Yeah. So the white, we try and maybe make the 20 pound one match a turkey. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and the red, 
you know, at 20 pounds, people want a big, chunky, wintry kind of red, so we make that uh, the style of red. So here's our 10 pound red for Christmas. This is the Big Bell Tea Cabinet Sauvignon from France, um, normally 12 quid, and we've got a great deal to make this our red wine of the year. So if you're looking for a lovely bottle of red, real crowd pleaser, soft fruit, little bit of creamy vanilla oak, yeah. um, at 10 quid is absolutely hard to beat. Very nice. Easy to drink. Lovely stuff. Yeah, nice. nice. Really fruity. Yeah. Nice weight. It's got that lovely little sort of creamy vanilla-y character which just smooths everything off. So either for a great wine to have in to pour for guests, or if you're just after a little thank you gift, a little Christmas gift for somebody, you don't want to blow the budget, 10 quid. It certainly tastes a lot better than that one. We have the same one, uh, a beautiful Bordeaux that we're doing at 15 pounds, and then a, a, a lovely, big, powerful Stellenbosch red from South Africa as our 20 pound red. Do you see at Christmas that people kind of spend a couple, a few more pounds on, on their wines and their spirits? Are they, are they buying more premium or? Yeah, I think, I think it's that time of year where people are happy. You know, yeah. You've the end of the year, you, you've worked hard, it's, it's, Time for family, time for celebration. Um, so yes, you get a little bit of people treating themselves, yeah. uh, a little bit of people um, treating friends and family with an extra gift. Um, but also, we have to understand there is a cost of living crisis out there, and, and uh, for a lot of people, they're feeling the pinch. Um, so we try and have a, a really good range of wines if you're hosting as well. And in terms of the spirit range that you've got in the shop? Yeah, we, we do everything from, from vodka to tequila yeah. and everything in between. Yeah. Um, so this year, as you mentioned, we've got our own King Street Gin. Um, so that's always our fun project. Um, we go out and uh, forage the ingredients uh, in the local area. So this year, I walked up and down the Warley Arches, the iconic big red nice. brick arches, and we found three ingredients that we could use, uh, forage those. So this year we have uh, hawthorn berry, uh, rose hip and wild yarrow uh, that are all blended. We then go up to Cuckoo and distill each one and blend the gin to make a unique recipe. There's a unique picture on the front that an artist friend of mine does each year um, and yeah it's a one-off recipe of 264 bottles. Nice. So that's the gin sorted. In terms of trade support Tom, so hotels, restaurants, bars, what sort of support can you offer to that side of the market? Yeah, so that's that's a growing part of our business, yes. um, something we've been keen to focus on the last few years. Um, and it's something that we've built up now to a point where we can offer the full service yeah. to everybody. So if you're looking to change your wine list a little bit, or if you want to add some specials in for Christmas, we've got everything from House Prosecco all the way up to Top Champagne. So we can have conversations with restaurants, bars, find out what changes they're looking to make uh, and even do specific seasonal menus for them. So if they didn't want to change their main wine list but maybe wanted to put a small fine wine, yeah, fine wine option, like you said, people, it's Christmas, people are looking to spend a little bit extra, that's where we can step in. We can say, we've got some old Bordeaux, we've got some lovely Chateau de Pape, you might not have it on your normal menu, take a few bottles off us, it doesn't have to be full cases, see if they sell and if they don't, we'll come and get them yeah. again. Um, if people have shortages, you know, with, with the weather and delivery drivers and strikes, we're on the doorstep yeah. for most Lancashire businesses. We've got a van out three, four times a week in the area. If they need an emergency drop off, we can we can handle stuff like that. How far north south do you go? So we deliver about 20 miles from yeah. the shop, um, which covers quite a lot of the area. And if people are really desperate, you know, we can always come to some yeah. arrangement and sort things out. Fantastic. And then if you had one, one bottle of wine that you had to go to for Christmas, whether it was red, white, rosé, champagne, what, what, what would you pick? Okay, so putting it's nothing, like, nothing like putting me on the spot yeah. there. Um, to be honest, I get asked that all the time yeah. because everybody's trying I to probably asked you that get, some, some, yeah, get some inside <laughs> information yeah. and I don't make my decisions until about two or three days before okay. Christmas. From now until Christmas Eve, we'll be absolutely flat out. It's the busiest time of year for us. Uh, Christmas Eve itself, we will take roughly the same as what we do in a normal week. So condensed, seven days of business condensed into about 10 hours. Yeah. So it's absolutely bonkers. We almost don't have time to even stop and think. Yeah. But then the second that bell rings, it's a case of, right, that's done. What am I taking home? 
So I will be having a bottle of Bollinger's RD Champagne. Nice. We'll start the day with. Uh, I usually take a rosé as well to go with smoked salmon. My mum does a lovely plate of smoked salmon for each Christmas morning we have, and I think uh, a nice little delicate rosé is just the best um, match with that. So something like the La Mascaron uh, Provence rosé that we sell. Really pale, really delicate, but a lovely crisp, fresh style. Whites. We will take a bottle of our £20 wine, Susanna Balbo. It's a great little wine. We used to sell it years ago and um, we found another parcel of it at a fantastic price. Beautiful Argentinian white blend of Sauvignon, Semillon and a little bit of Torontes. Um, it'll work brilliantly with Christmas candidates. For Turkey, I'll probably go into the Burgundy section, but can't talk about that. It gets a bit expensive in <laughs> Burgundy, but got to treat yourself. Yeah, it's and Christmas. Then, it's Christmas. Yeah. And then reds, um, either some old Bordeaux or a bottle of um, one of my favourite wines, which is Sasakaya. Well, sounds like we've got Christmas wraps. Here, Absolutely. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Quite all right. Uh, really appreciate it. Have a fantastic Christmas. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you uh, over the Christmas period as well. Brilliant. Thanks. Cheers. Awesome.